was the writer, of course, therefore, it's trusting that he should be started as really a director, which is the most important thing in film writing. But, but it can all go horribly wrong when cast becomes real. And you can see your vision disappear down the time. Oh, boy. Like, sure, that's never happened in your career, but I know many other writers. You, you want to bet? <laughs> no, no. But in, in this case, I know the, the concern um, um, Roman had about finding the string was, was, was great. And, well, and tell, tell me about your, your concerns and what Adrian brings to that. I had an, a, 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 a documentary image of Spielman from the photographs and so on. Um, Roman phoned me and asked me to go and see a film with Adrian Brody. And I, I can't remember the name of the film, but he was very, very good in it. And I phoned him back and said I thought he was terrific. He said, you know, he plays the piano. And I said, well, that sounds good. There were other names, of course, there were other people in the frame. But I think what tilted it was this extraordinary face that Brody has. It's what, I hope Adrian won't mind, but it's sort of ugly attractive. <laughs> it's not a, he's not a handsome man, but he's a very attractive looking guy. And he can play the piano well enough to get us through the sections where you want to see his hands and pull back and see him playing. And I think he's wonderfully cast, I have to say. I don't know if anybody, I can't think of anybody who could play that better now.